Good morning. It is currently 1140 right now. Um, I was supposed to be up way earlier than I am right now, but <laughs> that didn't go as planned. Tonight is date night. It is me and my boyfriend's anniversary, our five year anniversary. And we are going out to dinner tonight to celebrate and just hang out in the city. And I have nothing to wear and I am not prepared. So we really got to get a move on this morning because I was supposed to have been up at like 8, 9, already at the mall, already had my outfit. Reservations tonight are at 6.15. That is an early reservation, okay? 6.15 is early to be somewhere. But that was the only time the restaurant that we're going to, it's like a steakhouse, that was the only time they had available. I guess everybody's anniversary, you know what I'm saying? Well, it is St. Patrick's Day weekend, so that's probably why they're pretty busy. Anyway, so yeah, we, we gotta get the move on. We gotta get a move on. So I'm gonna take you guys to the mall with me. Hopefully we can find something really quick and be back to get ready. So let's go. Okay, yeah. we've made it to the mall. I am in Zara right now. It's not that busy in here. I lied, it's busy as in here, okay. But hopefully I can find something to wear because, oh. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Zara. <laughs> Welcome to Zara. <laughs> um, hopefully I can find something to wear in here. It is 12.28. We should be good. We should be good. My boyfriend just called me saying that we're leaving around 5 o'clock. Takes me a long time to get ready, but we should be good. So let's see if we can find something. This is really cute. This shirt right here. I don't know like what kind of style I'm going for tonight. I definitely want to be sexy. You know what I'm saying? We are going to a really nice restaurant. So I definitely want to be like sexy cute. So I don't know if I like want to get a dress or just like a regular top to go with some jeans. I think that's what I'm going to go for instead of a dress. I always do a dress. So I think I'm just going to find a cute top. So I'm definitely going to pick this up. I think this shirt is really cute too. What do you guys think? It's like a loose halter shirt. This top is gorgeous. It's not date night top though. It's like summertime top. But this shirt is cute as I should just buy it just because. So when it gets in the summer, I can have it. I'm gonna buy it. Okay, so next time you're in Zara, do not pass up the fragrance, okay? The fragrance in here is amazing. I have one from Zara called Twilight Mob. It smells delicious. So I think I'm gonna do a new fragrance tonight too. So I'm gonna pick a new fragrance. So this is Pink Flame. Smell this. I don't smell anything. Okay, I'm gonna try this one. This is Finmi, Finmin. This kind of smells like old lady. I don't like this one. Okay, one more. Ooh, I like this one. This is Toomber Rose. I feel like I always get rose fragrance though. I'm like a sucker for floral fragrance. I'm gonna get it though, cause I can't help it. <laughs> okay, so outfit is secured. It's one o'clock right now. We are doing amazing with time. I am so proud of myself. So let's go ahead and head home so we can get dressed. Okay, so I just got out of the shower. It is like 3.23. Thank God I remembered to shave my underarms cause of the shirt I'm wearing. Like I was about to hop out the shower and then I was like, I gotta shave my underarms, so I had to get right back in. Oh my gosh, didn't I say in the last video I was gonna buy me a Velcro towel? I need to invest in like a Velcro towel so I don't have to keep fixing my towel every goddamn second. I haven't done it yet, okay? I need to buy one like ASAP because this is not working. So after I get out the shower and I like every time I shave my underarms or just every time I get out the shower, I always like to go in with like some type of ingrown hair serum if you follow me on TikTok, you know how much I love fur, okay? <sighs> the best. They actually sent me some products um, in PR. They sent me their oil and their stubble cream. I've been using this and I really like this. Stubble cream is um, to really like help if when the hairs regrow to help it like come back softer and not be so like coarse and you know, um, rough. So I go ahead and just like take just a couple drops of this. That was a lot, not that much. And then I mix it with the stubble cream. Just take a little of that and I just like rub it in and just go under my arms with it. I can't really like do it the best because my towel is falling at the same time, but you get the picture. Oh, okay, I had to go put on a shirt. Had a nip slip. Okay, so it's 3.31 right now. We have exactly an hour. I wanna be done in an hour so we can be out the door. Is that embarrassing that an hour is still not enough for me? Okay, so I'm going in with some face primer. This is the Raffi. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know if you can see that. I absolutely love this face primer. It makes your skin so glowy. 
Okay, so the next thing I go in with is this Milk Makeup Concealer. This is like my exact skin tone and I just cover up all my little spots that I have on my chin and this bruise that I have on my forehead from running into the door, don't even ask. And then I just go ahead and just blotch all of that in. Okay, so now for foundation, I like the Giorgio Armani Illuminous mm. Illuminizer, mm. Illuminizer Silk. This foundation is really good. I have the little bottle. The big bottle is pricey, but the little bottle, I mean, $40 is still pricey for foundation, so never mind. But it's good foundation. If you're looking for a really good foundation, I really like this one. It's really sheer and full coverage. Well, medium to full coverage. I think I mentioned earlier that this was me and my boyfriend's five-year anniversary. I cannot believe it's been five years me and my boyfriend say all the time that it really does not feel like five years this is the longest relationship i've ever been in my life okay i've had uh, some pretty bad ones throughout my life okay and me and my boyfriend always say and i just personally feel like you know it doesn't feel like it you would think five years you would get bored or things would get boring or it would feel like five years but it doesn't I guess that's a good thing that it doesn't feel like five years. Okay, so now that I'm done with foundation, I'm going in with this horrible Charlotte Tilbury contour wand, okay? The reviews that people say about this stuff, at first I didn't believe them, like, oh, it's probably not that bad. This stuff is bad, okay? First of all, there's not enough product in this applicator and this is messy. It goes like all over the place, but it blends in beautifully, okay? The, the blend is beautiful, but it dries fast. That's all I'm gonna say. It does dry fast, but the blend is really pretty. But for how much this little wand is, I think it's like $43. Mm, it's not worth it. So now I see what the girlies are talking about on TikTok, like this is a no. I think I'm gonna just go back to what I used to use, which is the Mario contour stick. The Mario one is really good. I'ma just, the makeup by Mario one, I'ma just go back and see it's a beautiful blend. It's just a messy product. Say Beauty just sent me a really nice, um, their bronze, tan bronze sun melts. This one is really nice too. I really like this one too. Say, I love Say Beauty. I love, that's my favorite like clean beauty brand. But don't get me wrong, I like Charlotte Tilbury. Her foundations and highlighter is nice, but that contour wand, it's just not worth the money. I wish I had a color corrector to really like cover this bruise better. It's like peeking through my makeup. Can you guys like see it? Oh, hello. Ooh, I'm getting hot. That's because I'm rushing. Now I'm going in with my Rare Beauty concealer. I love Rare Beauty. <laughs> and I really like this concealer too. I love how bright it is. It really does just like lift, give me like a snatch under eye. Most of the time I let my concealer sit and dry for a little bit before I like bake it. After I blend it out, I let it like sit and dry for a little bit, but we do not have time to take our time, okay? We, we just gotta blend it. I feel like that trick really does like help the concealer to not like separate and stuff like that. Just personally, that's how I feel. And of course I forgot to wet my beauty blender. <laughs> It's all right, I'm like halfway done. That's the beautiful thing. I don't know if anybody else can agree with me, but I feel like once you're done with brows, you're like done with your face. Cause brows is what, brows and putting on lashes is what takes the longest. Okay, I did wet my beauty blender. Beauty blender, beauty blend. Beauty blender for the under eye. This restaurant that we're going to, I have no clue if you're allowed to wear like jeans. I've actually been to this restaurant before. It's called RPM. If you're from Chicago, it's a really nice steakhouse restaurant. I've been to this restaurant before, but I went like years ago and I cannot remember if I wore jeans or not. I'm sure I did, cause I was like 22 at the time and I didn't really have like any style. So I'm sure I wore jeans. So I hope the policy is still the same. Cause I know some restaurants, like they don't allow like jeans and shit like that. Okay, now it's time to bake. I like to use the G, why do I have lashes stuck to the back of my setting powder? <laughs> I like the Givenchy Prime Labrism um, to set under my eyes. I actually want to get like a new setting powder. I really want to try the Huda Beauty setting powder. I hear a lot of good reviews about 
Huda Beauty and how good her setting powder is. But I like this one too, but I really wanna try the Huda Beauty one. And I'm just gonna set under my eye with a powder puff. I do not use a beauty blender anymore. If you are not on the powder puff train of setting under your eye, what are you doing? This really just sets your makeup in place using a powder puff. And they're really cheap to get off Amazon. I think I paid for like 20 of these, like four or five dollars. Okay, while I let this bake and sit, it's time for brows. I love the Fenty Beauty eyebrow pencil. Yes. I mean, look at this brush. So cute. I don't know if you can see that, but it's such a cute brush. But yeah, I love this pencil. Oh, I have to see it. <laughs> That's me. Ooh, it is hot in her, okay? It's getting hot in her. can't sing I wish I can sing <laughs> usually I have like music playing while I'm doing this but you know what music really slows you down if you think about it because I don't know if anyone else is like this but I'm like as I'm doing my makeup and singing and doing my makeup then I'm changing the tunes trying to find the perfect song it's just it's just taking too much time. I notice like when I do my makeup and I don't have on music, I get done quicker. This whole week I have been preparing for this weekend of me and my boyfriend going on a date. I got a facial, my hair done, my nails done. I forgot to get my eyebrows done. I'm doing my eyebrows right now and I definitely need a brow wax. Also didn't get my Kuda Mama wax either, but she don't need to be waxed, she cool. I just got a wax like a, a month ago and she still look good, so. Okay, brows are complete. Now it's time to just Run it under concealer, put concealer under it. Oh, did I say I was sweating? Jesus Christ. Okay. So now it's time for, I have an eyelash on everything. <laughs> now it's time for eyeshadow. This is my favorite eyeshadow palette by Makeup by Mario. This is his Master Matte Palette. I'm just gonna go in with just a little brown, the brown shade, and just give me a little dimension. Nothing too crazy. I am not the best when it comes to eyeshadow, so don't expect too much from me. I've like never been good with eyeshadow. Even like years ago when I used to do like makeup, I was like a makeup artist years ago before I started doing uh, content creation. I wasn't good at eyeshadow then. <laughs> All right, and to create like a very like smoky look, I'm gonna go in with this brown right here and a little tiny taper brush and just go like in the corner right here to ghetto smoky eye. <laughs> okay, I went in with a little bit of a darker brown, this one right here to like give it a little bit more dimension because <sighs> I'm still learning, I'm still learning. Now for lashes, look how beat up this box is. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Ardnell Naked Lashes. These are my favorites. I hate long, thick, wispy lashes. Mm -mm, baby, keep that over there. I like very natural, pretty. Can't even tell you have on lashes kind of lashes. You know what I mean? At first, I was doing like a half lash, like cutting it. You know, I, I think I'm gonna do that today because it's really easier to, it's quicker to do that than to put on a full lash because I'm gonna be here for like five minutes trying to put on full lash how are we on time oh it's 3 40 57 we're doing good boom you see how easy that was two seconds beautiful now let's wipe off all of this baking powder i have on my face now when you're wiping off your baking powder do not swipe you press to wipe it off okay you press it into the skin to wipe it off do not don't do that okay swipe for a contour, I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty. I have had this for years. This is in Caramel Cutie, the Fenty Beauty uh, pressed powder contour, bronzer, sorry. I've had this for years. Like I, I can almost see the pan. Like I can see the outline of the pan. I'm almost touching pan with this. I think I've had this for like five years. This 
lasts a long time. If you guys would like a more like detail, detail makeup routine look, please let me know in the comments because I will do one, but I can't really. I gave you guys the best I can, okay, for right now. But if you guys want a detail one, just let me know. Okay, so you know how I'm like, I'm literally like standing up over my counter. This is ghetto. I would love a vanity and I think I can fit one in my closet. I think one day I'm gonna buy a vanity and put it in my closet so I can like sit down and like do my makeup, like how I be seeing the girls on TikTok do it. It just looks so comfortable and more convenient than just like standing over your counter doing your makeup. You know what I'm saying? Gotta snatch that nose, honey. I feel like I just learned how to like really do my nose and make it look good. Cause I used to put contour on the side of my nose. That's why my nose used to look like that, okay? Now I know to put it on the top of my nose and my nose, con my nose contour looks so much better now, but I definitely came a long way. So now it's time for mascara. My favorite mascara as of right now, the Say Beauty mascara, really nice. See how it just like elongates my lashes and it just looks so natural? Yeah. Give it to me. Hello, honey. He's staring at me. <laughs> Moving on. So now I'm just running this brush under my eye. Done with my makeup. I feel like I look a little white right now. So I like to take this 1802 Milk and Shake. This is a really good toner to really set like your face after you do your makeup and And then I like to take my powder puff and just go over it with my powder puff to really like smooth out my skin. Okay, makeup is done. Next is hair. A few moments later. Okay, I'm ready. The shirt I got from Zara is so cute. I just have on some regular jeans. I know you can't really see, but I was gonna wear my hair down, but I feel like it looks so much better with like pent up like this. Does it look bad? Does it look bad? We have to work with it, okay? We have to go because it is. 441 and we need to be on our way downtown by five because we stay an hour out from the city. But this is the fits. Oh, perfume. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I bought that rose, Turkish rose perfume that we were, you know, trying on and smelling in tar and Zara. I was about to say Tara. Anyway, I always like this is a trick to smell good all day, okay? Always like layer your scents. So this is like a rose scent. So if you have like a rose lotion, like you can put on, this is from Bath and Body Works. This is Hello Beauty. This is like a rose, like body cream because this perfume is rose. So I'm just going to just spray it all over my hot points. Whoa, whoa, just swim in the scents. Oh my gosh, deodorant. Even my deodorant is floral. <laughs> this is my favorite from Dove. The even tone deodorant. Now I am all ready to go. <laughs> How does the makeup look? I look cute, 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 cute. <laughs> As a wrap for date night. Thank you guys so much for watching the video if you have lasted this long. If I look like a bodybuilder, it's because I gave myself a self tan. Do you see that? I f my wrist. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so much again for watching the video. I love you guys so much don't forget to like comment and subscribe follow me on instagram at nicole faye davis and follow me on tiktok at nicole faye underscore definitely check the description for all the makeup products that i used i love you guys again and i will see you guys next week